Hello and welcome back to Dragon Quest Wall Tutorials, I am Koitsugizi and in this video we are again going to go after the Golden Slime but this time I'm going to be using a Dane Beast team used with the Treasure Coats gear. So uh, pretty much uh, I have used uh, a similar team before uh, against the uh, Slime General. Uh, Hokuro battle. So with this, uh, this particular gear, this is going to give you resistances to slime enemies. So plus 10 for the helm, the coat bottoms, the coat chest, and also I'm going to have on the metal slime shield as well. So again, another plus 10 for that. So a total of plus 40 uh, resistance or 40% resistance to slime type enemies. So that's going to really help with taking less damage from the enemy. So with this here, this first character I'm going to have is going to be uh, my Demon Swordsman. So the Demon Swordsman is going to be equipped with the Demon Dragon Sword. So this is going to do some pretty good damage, especially if I buff up this particular character. And of course, as she does uh, damage as well, she's going to be able to uh, get buffed as well and also from taking hits. Then here, this is going to be uh, my Archmage. So my Archmage is going to be equipped with the Book of Heaten. So with this, uh, every time that I use this main ability, uh, if I get uh, Force Break, or if I get echoes, um, uh, the uh, this character and the characters on either side of me will actually have uh, spells and uh, and skills uh, power increase. So that's actually going to be quite good for this particular battle. Then here with my ranger, uh, not my ranger, but my ninja, I'm going to have my ninja equipped with the uh, golden claymore. So um, since this character is not a god hand and not a demon swordsman, it doesn't have proficiency with this weapon. So um, they can't use it uh, two handed. So they can only use it single handed. So, um, but this should actually still work out quite well uh, with this particular battle. So especially, um, with Golden Break, I should be able to get some buffs uh, with my attack power. Then over here, I'm going to have on the uh, Angel Rod equipped on my High Priest. So again, going to heal and also uh, charm the enemy possibly as well. So with that said, if you want to know more about this team, you can look down in the video description down below. Uh, real quickly, um, they're actually um, new souls. So since this is a new week in the event, um, you have two different souls. We're going to have the Hydra and we're going to have Powered. So with the two of them together, um, they're going to be able to form a new soul. So looking here, going to S. So one's red, one's yellow. So down right over here, here's powered, and then here's Hydra. So they will form this particular, so that's going to be the Hell Gorgo. So with this, going to combine. And this is the Hell Gorgo. So here I did not get an S, but I do have an S already that I actually would like to go over real quickly. So right over here in uh, my inventory, going to have the Herald Gorgo right here. So with this, um, this is going to be a red soul. So um, main stats are going to be in your strength and your max HP. So 154 uh, max HP and 90 strength, not a whole lot. Um, in this case, this, uh, in my opinion, this isn't necessarily a great soul, but um, if you look at the abilities, you get plus 3% to weapon and physical technique skill damage, plus 13% damage to slime, plus 10% damage to aquatic type enemies, and then plus 5% shadow resistance. So um, this is actually, um, in terms of the basic stats, it's the max HP is definitely good, but uh, in terms of strength, I wish it was a little bit higher. But uh, still, um, with that plus 13% damage to slime, that's actually quite good. So here, just going to go ahead and lock that in. So now what I want to do is actually go ahead into this battle. So um, I should be able to get through this no problem whatsoever. So with that said, here we go. Okay, so here we go with this battle. So even with the time left, that's actually plenty of time to get through this particular battle. So here did not get a charm, but that's okay. So here just going to go ahead and attack with my ninja. So there, no buffs, no um, 
debuffs there. Here, not going to waste that uh, gather strength, so going to damage here. 12,000 damage, so so. So, here, what I'll do is okay, so here I got a multicast, so I'm going to actually go ahead and use Chant of Magical Echoes. So there got a echo, so got uh, that buff there. And again, got another echo. So again, increased uh, that there and also got a force break. So what I'll do here is I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and use Encore. And what I'll do here is I will use Magical Awakening. So here comes uh, Miracle of the Stars. So it has uh, some increases there. So there only uh, my uh, Archmage was affected, but that's fine there. So here going to attack with my Ninja. So got an attack boost there. So here going to go ahead and attack. So 10,000 damage. Also a buff increase and also a force break. So here going to go ahead and attack. My Demon Swordsman. 10,000 damage. And then here going to go ahead and use Ultra Hustle Dance. So I have been joined by another character, but um, that's actually not going to change much for this particular battle. So you can see with the amount of damage I took there, um, I'm actually taking a lot less damage uh, than uh, the previous video that I had on this enemy. Okay, then here again, going to use Ultra Hustle Dance. Let's see if I can get a charm. No charms there. Oh, but I have a second chance. No charm. Again, and okay, good. That was actually quite a good um, buff there. So I did get an uh, spell power buff. So again, with uh, Miracle of the Stars. So here, just going to go ahead and attack. So again, got a tough power and also got a um, shadow weave. So pretty much with this here, um, pretty much the golden slime is going to be finished uh, here. So um, going to go ahead, heal up. Let's see. Okay, 10,000 damage. And possibly with this attack here, finished. So 31,499 damage. Okay. And here the golden slime is a yellow soul and I got a D. And here I get a D soul. Okay, so that was my battle against the Golden Slime using this Dane base team equipped with the Treasure Coat. So, um, you can actually see from that battle, uh, Shining Breath, uh, normally, uh, with my previous team, uh, when he's completely buffed up with, uh, Miracle of the Stars, he's doing over 500 damage with that particular, uh, attack. But here, uh, you can actually see he was only doing over 300 damage. So that's actually a big difference. Uh, so definitely, uh, this particular gear that I have on is actually, uh, working and very effective from taking damage so i didn't really need to worry too much about um 
worrying too much about uh, low HP of my characters. So that really helped out. Then here, um, pretty much uh, everyone actually, in terms of damage, uh, did was pretty well. Um, I got a very nice Shadow Weave with my Ninja, was doing some damage there. I uh, also got Attack Power Boost uh, with uh, Golden Break. Then also with uh, my Archmage, I uh, was doing some, got some nice uh, Echoes with uh, my with the main attack so um that actually gives power boost to both characters next to it so at the very end got um very nice damage with giga break uh so pretty much over 30,000 damage so that actually worked out quite well so definitely i would say um if you want to just kind of uh have a kind of a relaxed feel for the battle you're not really uh wanting to well i mean this did take uh the enemy down quite, kind of fast but uh, if you want to play things safe, this is probably a uh, best team to actually use. So uh, with this particular gear and then also this particular equipment as well. So um, probably I could just go ahead and auto battle and not really do anything and probably still clear it. But um, yeah, this team actually does work out well. So now what I want to do is go over the S grade soul of the uh, golden slime. So that's going to be right over here. So the golden slime, like I said, is going to be a yellow soul. So yellow souls usually have uh, uh, basic stats, increase of max HP, uh, your durability. And uh, also here you're going to see good high strength. You're going to see high uh, stats in your... Uh, agility and dexterity is too so somewhat similar to uh, the slime general had um, same similar uh, stats in all those five areas so plus 130 to max HP plus 100 to strength plus 100 to, and 1 to uh, your durability 126 for agility 123 for your dexterity then in terms of your um, abilities you're going to get plus 10% to uh, weapon skill damage plus 10% to Jubadia weapon and physical technique damage, plus 5% uh, resistances or plus 5 resistance to all attributes, uh, plus 7% uh, to negative uh, status afflictions. So in this case, that's going to be things that change, uh, such change uh, like for example, defense or your um, attack power uh, in battle. Then here, uh, plus 10% to um, resistances to all uh, status effects so um, in that case that will be poison uh, illusion curse and all those other ones so this is actually a pretty good so I'm going to definitely use it on my Jabadia based team so going to go ahead and lock this in so with that said I'm going to go ahead and end this video here so what I want to do uh, uh, in between uh, videos for uh, this particular event is actually go over some of the uh, basics of the game. So hopefully I will have videos on that coming soon. So with that said, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. If you would like to see more, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.